Hey, what's going on? We're just doing some casual exploring here. Saturday in Bucharest. Just saw the Arc de Triomphe, which is like a replica of the one in Paris. And now we're gonna go explore the park right next to it. There's a Japanese garden. That's where we're headed. Let's go check it out. You could actually get a view of the Arc de Triomphe. We climbed up to the top of it. It's free to do so. You can go up one side and then you come down. It's a good, good little climb. And we noticed massive green space on the map right next to it. Big, big block of green space. This park, I forget the name. I did see it on my map, but today I took my um, SIM card out of my cell phone so we don't have data, which is actually better. Um, it's better not to be looking on your cell phone when you're trying to walk around and explore. So we're gonna follow the signs, we're gonna follow our intuition and figure out um, what's good here. It's Michael Jackson. Alea Michael Jackson. I don't know what that means, but got a okay here's a little map so there's a lake here and looks like there's lots of stuff to see but we're gonna go check out it's like the second one down is the Japanese garden that's where we kind of wanted to to head Look, the, I think the fourth one is the lake. It looks like almost everything is here except the Explorer Flora. But yeah. Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, and I, I was just thinking too. All the videos that I put out online are basically just some form of an experiment. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do as you do it. I'm also posting a lot more on X or Twitter, which I've found has been very helpful. It's something that I wanted to do for a long time, which was form a daily writing habit. I'd always gone through little stints where maybe I'd write a little bit and then, you know, it would continue for the habit would continue for a week or so and then it would drop off and I'd resume it again but I always after I read The Artist's Way she has a, an idea in there about morning pages which is basically dedicating the first 30 minutes of your day or hour of your day just to writing and she makes the argument too like most writers don't start out knowing what they're creating just that act of creating daily you figure it out as you go. And I'm taking the same approach when I film videos. I'm just experimenting. I know that we're exploring all these cool places. So I wanna document it in some way just for my own memories at the very least. And talk about the things that I like talking about and maybe I'll figure it out along the way. And if it never becomes anything, that's cool too because I had fun documenting along the way. It's cool, like they've got a climbing obstacle course here, which would be like me as a kid. This would be like heaven. Scary. Some of those are pretty high up, but they have some lower ones here. Yeah, this would be cool. Doesn't look like it's still... Uh, actually, I don't know, but how would you get up there? But it looks like they could still, they could have activities here and stuff if it was properly set up. Maybe they have supervisors and like a climbing day or activity day or something.
think it's her first time seeing the fall colors. Do you like the fall colors? It's your first time, right? First time. She never has seen snow. We saw snow for the first time, I want to say last week. Yeah, I guess it's funny to me as a Canadian, but yeah, there's lots of people in the world who have never seen snow or don't get to experience autumn like this. And that's why I guess what attracts me to to Colombia or Med Medellin, for example, is the weather. It's always spring weather. It's so lush and beautiful and biodiverse. But when you grew up there your whole life, the opposite is very interesting to you. So this this was that's a big oh wow. It's a big car. It's a big course, yeah. Okay, so they do have it's still hard to tell like they have the instructor's office here, but is it still in use or not? Huh. We're just going to guess, figure out where it's interesting along the way. <laughs> it's actually tempting. I do want to go play there. you think? Can we cut through there or stick to the path? I don't want to damage their their grass. Let's stay on the main trail for now. But yeah, one of the themes I know, well, I guess the themes that I want to talk about on this channel are the same ones on my website, which are basically exploration and world travel, psychology and mindset. Um, okay, let's go this way. Psychology and mindset. Um, and then how can you fund that lifestyle? So the idea of lifestyle design itself, which is how you craft the lifestyle of your choosing. And what brings that all together, which I think is financial freedom. So how do you create a business that can fund the lifestyle that you're looking to create? So I think that's the starting point for a lot of people or the foundation is, okay, well, I need to make a little bit of money online because I'm starting from zero basically, or I'm working a job and I want to make a change. And I think the psychology and mindset that comes along with that, those are two things that I feel strongly about, feel passionate about. My degree is in psychology. So I love talking about that stuff. I studied it for a number of years. And the business part of things, yeah, I haven't talked that much about, but that's one of my passions as well. So that started for me, it was when I moved to Asia in 2008. I had never had any interest in business, but read a few books, met a few people that changed the way I thought and set me on a new path, trying things. And it took me a few years, but I finally figured out a business model that worked. And that's what led to my, my love for travel and my freedom to explore a lot more and see more than 50 countries now. That's cool, they have all the ping pong tables. Oh, they've got a skate park. Oh, this park would be heaven for me as a kid. My BMX. My BMX. Ah. Oh, and there is food here. Uh, we haven't eaten yet. It's about, what time is it? Three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, intermittent fasting for the wind. 
looks like we found the spot where we might swing back and eat. Do you want to check the menu? You can check. Let's see what they have. Okay, so that looks like it's till 4 o'clock. They've got... Let's try to understand. Oh yeah, omelet, avocado toast. Looks good. Okay, yeah, we can come back here. Perfect. With a view. <laughs> what a skate park. Yeah, I would... Uh... Skateboarding was obviously massive when Tony Hawk was big. The video game, the Tony Hawk video games came out. Everybody was started skateboarding. But me and my friends, we took up BMX. So we'd go to the local skate park and... Yeah, I never was that good at like half pipe or that sort of thing, but I liked grinding the rails. I don't know if I've ever dropped in off something that high, but you know, we were all little daredevils. We'd push each other further and further to take bigger risks and do some pretty crazy stuff, so. That looks like a, actually I don't know. Like an oak tree. Yeah, that's like this is like the trees in Canada. Really orange, bright colors. Oh huh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Looks like another restaurant there. We seem to have not quite pinpointed the Japanese garden yet, but we'll walk a little bit further and see if we can find that. I feel a park always gives you proper vibes for the city. This is no exception. You've seen, we've seen restaurants, stalls, all filled with local people, local kids playing, playground, skate park. No tourists. I guess there were a few tourists at the Arc de Triomphe, but a lot fewer than you would expect and all local from what we could see. Or not local, but, but at least Romanian. What do you think? Is this the Japanese garden? Let's see, is there a... No, that's the same sign we saw with the birds at the entrance. This is cool, but it's definitely not a Japanese garden. Fantana, Fantana, Maduro, Madura, the fountain of 
Modura. What do you think? Modura is Modura? maybe modern. Maybe Moderna. it's Moderna. Modern fountain. Modern. Oh, oh this, this spot is heaven for kids. Yeah, my nephews would love this. Okay, so we have the lake on the side. Cinematograph. Well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, we'll grab a bite to eat because it's so late, and then we'll jump back over to the side, we'll explore a bit of the lake and see if we can end up finding the Japanese garden. Okay, so we ended up finding the Japanese garden and we were actually walking through it the whole time. It's just that because of winter, all of the little ponds have been drained and yeah, I guess it's just not as active as it is in the summer. So mission accomplished, we've eaten. Found this cool Shakespeare statue here. There he is. <clears throat> and supposedly there's a, a lake in here. I remember seeing that too on, on my map. Okay, I was curious what that is, but it's a it's an abandoned bathroom. But yeah, it seems like there's just more of the the same. It's a beautiful park. We're gonna keep walking around and exploring, but we'll wrap up the video for now. We're gonna head back to the center of town and do a bit of exploring there after wind down the Saturday. Hope you guys have a great day.